Today I've got a showdown between GitHub Copilot and Amazon's Code Whisperer. These are both AI coding sidekicks. I've been using Copilot for almost a year and I love it. I've done some videos about it. You can check those out. We'll put them head to head in a battle for the best coding assistant and see if Code Whisperer is my new Copilot. Uh, that's not confusing at all. Forget I said that. GitHub's Copilot has a pretty huge head start, at least by today's standards and AI advancements. It supports a pretty wide range of IDEs and languages and costs 10 bucks a month for individuals. But you can get it for free if you are under an organization that does open source projects. And Code Whisper is brand new and it has some ground to make up to catch up. It also works with many IDEs, but not as many as Copilot, at least according to the docs. But it does have some extra bonuses for you if you're in the AWS ecosystem, like support for AWS Cloud9 and Lambda. And it has a unique security scan feature that I demoed in my initial impression video, which I'll link down below if you want to check that out. Whisper has two pricing tiers, one we're all gonna love, that's the free tier, at least for now, and there's also a $19 a month professional plan with some extra perks, like more security scans and other things. Both of these support many languages, but today I'm checking out TypeScript. And if you wanna see other languages in action, just drop a comment down below, we'll have a look at that too. The first thing we're gonna try is generating code based on the function name. As I start to type with Copilot, I get suggestions immediately for the entire function completion. I'm typing calculate here, and it's already giving me suggestions. Rectangle, I mean, I didn't want that, but what I want is days between dates, and I started typing day, and it already completed the entire function for me. So all I gotta do is press tab here, but not, not gonna do that just yet. Let's go over here to whisper, type in calculate. It's assuming uh, we're doing addition for some reason. I didn't call the function add, just calculate, but it's making the assumption that we're doing addition. Let's do day. I'm getting nothing. Let's do uh, days. Okay, calculate days. We're taking in a date and a second date. We're getting the difference between them. Now with Copilot, it's assuming that we're getting strings and it doesn't specify the typings in the function signature, which is not that great. Or you can argue that it's great, depending if you're Matt Pocock or not. In Code Whisper, it's actually defining the parameter types, which is good in my case. Let's do um, between dates. I've completed that. With Copilot, I'm getting some complaints from the editor and that has to do most likely because it's using any types and TypeScript doesn't like that. Here, it's much cleaner. We're not using any types, we're using dates types. Also, Copilot generated vars, which is a modifier you probably don't wanna be using anymore unless you really need it. You should be using consts and lets, and that's what Code Whisper did. It did a const. Let's do calculate area. I just typed out the whole function name. Very different results here, folks. Copilot assumes that you're gonna be passing in some kind of shape. What the heck is this? I don't have a shape defined. Why are you assuming shape? Not the best example. Whisperer is assuming width and length, which is what I would expect. Also, Copilot is trying to figure out whether you passed in a, a shape to be a circle or not. I suppose it covers the circle case, which is great, but you also now need to define shape, whereas Code Whisper does not account for circles. Very different results. So that was just by function name. I sometimes do that, but most of the time I write a comment to help direct Copilot. So I'm gonna start off with a comment. Create a function that takes in two dates and returns the number of days between them. And I'm at the end of the line. I'm gonna press enter on both of these. Oh, uh, Copilot, what are you doing? It's adding to my comment saying ignoring time of day. Whisper is already on the task. It's already creating a function. So I'm gonna press tab here and it did not complete the whole function. It only completed the one line. So I have to press enter. Now it says your code here. And for some reason it's returning time from the dates. Oh, okay, it's getting the time and then it's calculating it. So that's right. Copilot does after I accept that comment. Is it gonna actually, it's adding to the comment. This is something new, folks. This is something that I've just started seeing recently where it expands your comment indefinitely and doesn't actually get to the function. This is a bad show, Copilot. You've been so good to me. What is this? Copilot fails. I gotta, I gotta say, this is the first time I've seen something like this, like this, this major of failure. It just keeps adding to the comment. It's not actually creating the function. Bad Copilot. I'm a little disappointed. 
All right, let's do something realistic. Uh, right now, AI is hot, open AI, API. I'm going to ask these two AIs to go to the other AI and ask it something and then return me a result. <laughs> Copilot, talk to Code Whisperer. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to talk to the open AI API. Here we go. Function to run a query against the open AI API using the GPT 3.5 turbo model and return a response. Come on, Copilot. It's giving me the usage. Why is it doing this? expanding my comment. Uh, I just want you to do it. Uh, am I holding it wrong here? Come on, Steve Jobs. Tell me I'm holding it wrong. Create a function. It's telling me what I need to... Hey, we got some code. So I added the word create to the comment, and that seems to have helped us generate some actual code. It's telling us to import the OpenAI API. It's telling us to import the .env library, create a function to run the query. There it is. Are we going to have more? There it is. So a uh, couple things not right that I see here, but we're going to get to that. Let's see what Code Whisper does. And to be fair, I'm going to include that create function word in there in the comment. Okay, okay. Couple things to dissect here. Copilot is not using the proper module system that I have in my TS config. So we're targeting ES2016. They're both targeting ES2016 because I use the same version of TypeScript. Module system is CommonJS. Yes, it's CommonJS on both of them. And as you can see, we're using the require keyword. If we take a look at what Code Whisperer did, it did not include any imports or requires at all. It left it pretty much up to you to know what open AI is. So I'm going to have to nick Code Whisper for doing that. I don't know what open AI is. I mean, I know what open AI is, but maybe I don't know what it is. And it doesn't tell me what I should be doing with it. Copilot gets a bonus here. Even though it didn't do the imports correctly, every step of the way told you what it was doing. Import the open AI library, import the .env library. It kind of gives me a hint of what I should be doing next, which is installing those libraries. Few moments later. Yes, I'm changing accent of meme. All right, I've installed the OpenAI SDK. This is helpful because now it's telling me import the OpenAI SDK. So it somehow knows what we need to do. It's most likely based on the fact that there's undefined symbol here, but it could also be because there's now a new NPM package in package.json. So I'm going to accept that and look at that. It's giving me the proper import statement for OpenAI. It imported configuration in OpenAI API, but it did not connect the dots here for us, unfortunately. So now I don't know how to use the configuration and open AI API without going to the documentation, figuring that out. I'm going to try something else. In Code Whisper, I'm going to delete this function again, and I'm going to have it regenerate the function based on the imports. And let's see if that helps. That's what I was looking for right there. Because I've imported configuration and open AI API, creating a new function for me based on those. And there is the configuration. That's what I need is the open API key and an instance of open AI API. Let's do the same thing with Copilot and see if this helps. I'm going to just blow away what it had so far and do the import first at the top. Copilot, you're disappointing me. You're just giving me comments. What happened to you? I need to start with an import statement here because Copilot is not doing it. So it's importing it from the wrong package. It should be just OpenAI, not OpenAI-API. And it imported everything, not uh, specifically configuration and the API that we needed. So let's see if it regenerates the function properly. It's not completing the whole function like I'm used to. It's uh, still calling the old OpenAI complete instead of the create completion. And I guess that's that. So Copilot failed here. It doesn't even call the right functions from the OpenAI API. Are you using Copilot right now? Let me know in the comments and let me know if you've already tried Code Whisperer because from what I'm seeing, it's doing a better job so far, at least in the tasks that I've given it. There might be other tasks where Copilot is better. It's got more IDEs that it supports. It supports more languages. So there are some benefits to using Copilot. In the case where I tried it with TypeScript, Code Whisperer seems to be winning, including having a more updated idea of the API that I was trying to use, which is a modern API. This is just one little tiny little slice of an example. There's tons and tons of things you can do with these tools. I'm going to be trying Code Whisperer more often, that's for sure. Have you experimented with these two? Did you see similar results? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and stay subscribed for more content like this. I plan to use these tools throughout my testing. So you'll definitely be seeing more of these tools and videos to come. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll be back.